What's going on, everyone? Welcome into a home edition of the Cleveland Browns Report. I'm Matthew Peterson, talking about the Kareem Hunt trade news. That broke earlier today, Mary Kay reporting that the Browns running back has requested a trade after not getting a contract extension, which, to be fair, you shouldn't be surprised. And we're going to go in more depth and more detail on this, but just to get the bare bones of the story out to everyone, Kareem Hunt, who's on the last year of his two-year contract extension, or two-year contract with the Browns, two-year, $12 million, wants an extension. Andrew Barry, not really in the business of offering an extension to a 27-year-old running back. Happy birthday to Kareem Hunt yesterday, by the way. Type 27 to wish him a happy birthday. But he comes out and he goes, I'm not participating in team drills, which... He's probably going to get fined for. You can't just show up to practice and, if you're healthy, sit on the sideline. So he's trying to keep himself healthy there. doesn't want to get banged up or nicked up. And he's trying to send a message of the new, not hold out, but the version of holding in. Right? You're going to show up. You'll do some stuff or you'll just sit on the sideline the whole time in a red jersey. So you don't get extremely fined. But you also send a message, I'm not going to practice and get hurt potentially while I'm waiting for that contract extension. So... Kareem Hunt, looking for a trade. We talked about this on the show a couple months ago, and I'm not a fan of trading Kareem Hunt. Come on, say that right now. Especially when you have so much uncertainty at the quarterback position. We don't know who the quarterback is going to be for all 18, 17 games, 18 weeks of the season. I think the last thing you want to start doing is looking to unload valuable chips on this offense here. Now, the Browns are not honoring this trade request, and why, like, why would they, right? Here's the issue with trading Kareem Hunt. You're not going to get what he's worth. 27-year-old running backs in the trade market do not go for day two draft picks. You know, thanks to Trent Richardson, I've said it before, that really ruined the running back trade market. Teams would rather just go draft a young running back Give him a bunch of carries for his rookie contract, run him, run him into the ground, and then reset, draft a new rookie, unless you got someone very, very special like Nick Chubb or Jonathan Taylor or Derrick Henry. But those are hard to come by. Now, the Browns, like I said, I, I would be blown away if they were to get a third-round pick for Kareem Hunt. A fourth seems like it's even too much of a stretch. So Kareem Hunt is worth more than a fifth. But you're not going to get a fifth for him. That's just the reality of the running back trade market here. So the idea of the Browns looking into trading him because he asked for it doesn't seem all that likely when they pick up the phone and they start calling around and they find out we're not going to get much for him and we still like him as a player, right? We don't want to trade good players away when we're not rebuilding. It doesn't make a lot of sense from the Browns side here. Now, before we deep dive into this even more here, I want you guys still to weigh in. This is not a normal show here, of course. We don't have all the bells and whistles and the graphics. But would you trade Kareem Hunt? Give me a classic T for trade or K for keep. I'm putting K for keep in the comment section. But if you disagree, that's fine. If you want to keep Kareem Hunt, also make sure to like today's video. Okay, so let's talk about the idea of then extending Kareem Hunt. Because that's where this started, right? Was Kareem Hunt... A couple months ago, remember he had his um, his like football camp and he said, yeah, Browns, we've been in discussions of a contract extension. It doesn't seem all that likely. Andrew Barry's a smart guy. He extended Nick Chubb last year. Okay, let's kind of go through the timeline. here. Extends Nick Chubb last year. That's important. That's very relevant to Kareem Hunt. Okay, because you only want so much money tied up at the running back position. Doesn't make a lot of sense to have two RBs, who are a little later in their years, both on decent-ish contracts, okay? So, you extended Nick Chubb last offseason. You drafted Jerome Ford. That was not a good sign for Kareem Hunt, right? That was a pick where Andrew Barry in day three goes, we're probably going to take the best player available. We like Jerome Ford a lot. We think he could learn for a year behind these two stud running backs. And then probably take Kareem Hunt's job next year and then it's hard to speculate where Nick Chubb will be in two years from now but unfortunately the reality of running backs is they can fall off a cliff now Nick Chubb is built different so he might be able to keep that high motor going for another two three four years or anything but still you don't see many running backs play at a high level towards year 
seven or eight, nine of their contract, unless it's, you know, Derrick Henry's and Adrian Peterson. So you've got that going for you. You drafted Jerome Ford because you believed, yep, we like the longevity and we like to just start planting the seed of the next player at that position. That's how GMs work in day three of the draft. They're looking around going, we don't necessarily need a running back to help us today, but it's really good. We like what we see here. And we also know we could eliminate a future Andrew Berry problem by drafting a running back now. That way next year, it's not crisis. We need another RB. So that's why it just doesn't seem likely that an extension is going to come. Plus, how many 27-year-old running backs get contract extensions? You know, GMs look around the league. Like, look at the Cowboys. They got burned on the Zeke deal. Now, that's good. It is a very different type of money, right? Kareem Hunt's not looking for Zeke money. But there is something to be said of, yeah, paid a running back when it felt like a good idea at the moment. And then you look back and it's like, we ordered way too much pizza. You know what I mean? It's like, this was a big mistake here. I think another thing that's got to be somewhat in the equation is Kareem Hunt last year only playing eight games, knee injury. That's definitely not a pro, right? I mean, when you look at his career, it's it's difficult because he's played five seasons, three for the Browns, two for the Chiefs, but because of the injuries and because of the suspension and um, the suspension after the domestic violence incident, he doesn't have a huge workload, right? He doesn't have an enormous amount of carries because those tally up and those bruises add up. So for being a 27-year-old, he might feel a little bit actually more like a 25-year-old because he didn't get... 300 carries for six straight seasons, okay? So he's got a little bit of spark to him. But I'm hoping Kareem Hunt and the Browns are able to resolve this. If you are as well, let's just type 27, his jersey number, down in the comment section below because I do not want to see Kareem Hunt on another team's roster this year. I don't. The Browns, with or without Deshaun Watson, are going to lean heavily on this running back, on this running back room. Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt are going to be a huge part of the offense, especially if it's not Deshaun Watson's show for the entire season. Jacoby Brissett, he's going to enjoy dropping back, finding Hunt in the flat, and letting him do the rest. So hopefully this can work itself out in some way. Kareem Hunt's not going to hold out into the season. He's not at that type of level, right? I, I don't think he'll be successful. If he goes into the season holding out, Andrew Barry is going to call his bluff because he's going to start to get fined. I mean, Stefanski, for example, at the presser today after practice was asked, so is uh, Kareem Hunt going to get fined, by the way, for sitting out? And Stefanski was like, we're not going to get into that right now. Wink, wink. Yeah, he probably will get fined. That way we get a little bit of an urge and a little bit of like a, you know, get a move on down below to get back on the field. We're sorry. I mean, we it, the best. I think the best route for Kareem Hunt here is to ball out this year. Okay, that's of course like an easy cop out answer, but I think it's really true because a lot of people are doubting older running backs this day and age. This is just the new wave of GM mindsets of go young at running back, draft a running back. You have him under control for four years, run him into the ground for four years, draft a new one. It's better than right than paying a running back and you give them a four-year contract and after two years, they're toast and you've got like Zeke left on the books and he has to be the reason why you can't afford other players. It's not the same level for Cream Hunt because he's not going to get Zeke money anyway. Even if he were to get a contract extension, he's getting two 12-year, two-year, 12 million. I'm guessing it would be a very similar type of deal, right? Backload some money, uh, put some void years at the end there. Andrew Barry's a wizard when it comes to the mythological salary cap, so he would be able to work himself around and whatnot. But Kareem Hunt requesting a trade, I really hope it does not happen. That is the takeaway I want people watching this to have. I want to see Hunt play for the Browns this year. Andrew Barry's not going to get what he's worth in a trade. And he's not going to look to extend a 27-year-old running back when he just extended Nick Chubb last year and he drafted Jerome Ford. That's not a good recipe for Hunt getting an extension. 
All right, everyone, that is going to do it for us here for our home edition of the Browns Report. If you liked what you saw or you enjoyed what you heard, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Once we get back in the studio tomorrow, we'll be breaking this down even more. Plus, I want to have a fun polo on. This is a weekend PD polo here. So uh, you guys get a, a quick sneak peek of my wardrobe beyond my usual polo rotation. I got my Tennessee balls going here. All right, that's going to do it for us. We'll see you guys later. Bye.